proceeding. They would. Right on. With this. She's out. Maraka Ibrahim. Onyait Steven. William Innocent. Atang Tom. According to the in the Champions League, or Cup Champions League match. See your present. CEO is present. And that we have CEO is Mr. Chen. Regional Football Association, the proposal approved by this General Assembly. Each region, each will get 50 million, and that's the 400 million. The special interest groups, they are 20 million each, and that's 160 million. The big league clubs, they are 16, each of them 25 million, and that will be 400 million. The provinces that have not been getting anything, they are 16 plus 2, and that is 18. Each of them 30 million, that's 180 million. Football associations, we expect to have about 100 districts playing football in this country. Each of them 1 million, and that will be 100 million. The women's super league clubs, there are 10 of them, 30 million each, 300 million. The women elite league, 16 of them, 10 million each, 160 million. The Uganda Premier League, 16 of them, each of them 50 million, that's 800 million. This comes to 2.5 billion, and that's a 410 percent increment from what has been spent in the previous financial year. It is going to be the role of the executive to make sure that we realize the money such that we fulfill the appropriation as it is. But this money is going to come with different conditions and the executive committee will sit down to write the regulations as they are. I would also like to say that the regulations will include to make sure that this money is utilized according to the objectives of football. With the approval of the budget today, this money should be available starting first, the financial starting first January 2020.
I have no say. But the media today going forward is not going to put pressure on you, it's going to put pressure on you. <laughs> but the government has failed to sponsor a team to qualify for our African Games under 23. I am aware and privy to information that FUFA doctor is here and he would have explained to this General Assembly that there is a budget line which has been discussed by, you, by government which is meant to be released within these few weeks coming forward and expected us to take care of the challenges FUFA is facing from that budget line so that our team remains to compete in all African games. As a country, I found this was on the table, and I want to say, Mr. President, and FUFA delegates have constituted a team from the Minister of Education and Sports, led by Commissioner, and I'm happy, General Secretary is a member, I am happy, Chairman, National Council of Sports is a member, and I know I am meant to co opt one or members from FUFA to join that team to discuss what we need to have first before we are ready for this competition. So as government, we are committed in making sure Uganda and Tanzania co-host AFCOM come 2027. 20,